today we're going to be teaching you how to make a dish that is exceptionally prevalent in the Middle East during the summer period. Ironically, however, it doesn't seem to be designed to cool you down due to the spicy flavouring. You want to try some? Huh? Um, I don't, I don't think we've got time, sorry. Come on, come on, try some. Okay, you insist. So Ben, what dish are we going to be cooking today? Uh, the dish we're going to cook today is the salata mishwea. This one is grilled chili pepper with tomatoes, garlic, dried coriander, dried uh, caraway seed, salt. This is other ingredients actually. Salata mishwea quite literally means roasted salad and is commonly understood in this way throughout Tunisia and Western Libya. As you can probably tell by now, the dish doubles as a hot sauce that isn't quite suitable for the faint-hearted unless its chili content is reduced. Throughout the summer months, Salata Mishwea can be widely spotted in the Arabic world at barbecues. The stronger of the sauces can be smelt from a distance, leaving the hot streets with a divine scent that will make your mouth water, but hopefully not burn. That was lovely. Um, I think I need some water. Cut! But it's spicy. Very spicy. They like uh, Tunisian. They love spicy food. So this goes with uh, grilled sardines, grilled mackerel, any type of fish that's grilled. And every day we eat it. So in you, the summer. In the summer. So you smell it when you go on the street of uh, Tunisia. You can smell it. People that are doing it on a barbecue. You can smell the chili, smell the garlic, the tomato, and all that. Oh, that's that a very lovely. nice dish. And it's very, very simple, very nice, and it's, it's quite healthy as well. It's not. Uh, Chili is good, but don't drink too much water with it, okay. otherwise it <laughs> burns you more. To make this recipe, you will need two large tomatoes, five green or red chilies, two garlic bulbs, some coriander, and some caraway seeds. Add salt to taste. To decorate the dish, you could use a selection of olives along with slices of egg and lemon. So we cook it, we put it all on the grill. So we take the chili, our chili, our tomato, and our garlic. We put them all on the grill. Okay, you need okay. the way. There we are. So with the chili, these are um, not your everyday chili that you get in your supermarkets? No, no, this one is very, very hot chili. This one I brought them specially uh, from Tunisia. Okay. Because uh, otherwise, if you want to find them in the market, you go to your local uh, supermarket. The chili has to have a lot of flesh, otherwise you cannot do it as uh, salata mishwaya. Okay. So the what's the difference between this chili from Tunisia and the chilies that we have here? Uh, the flesh. This has got more flesh. You see, okay. if you break it, you have more flesh in it. Oh, okay, okay, right. That's what it is. Right, okay, okay, okay. And you can cook it and you grill it. And the second one you grill it, straight away take it, put it in some plastic container, and you cover it in plastic container. Like that, when you take the skin, it comes off nice and sure, easy. Sure, sure, okay. That's the way. But you can use alternatives for people in the, U in London, in the UK. Of course you can. You can use the, uh, the green pepper. Okay. And you add, uh, if you don't like it spicy, you add another three or four green chilies. You can find them here sure. as well, okay. very spicy okay. as well. And you mix them up if you don't like it, <coughs> sorry, very hot, you can do that. So there's no excuses for people at home. You can still make this dish. You can improvise. Okay. In improvise. any dish, you improvise. Sure. So, no so, uh, what it is. so how long do we leave on the grill for? The grill until really it cooks nice and okay. grilled and it's, it starts getting the color. Okay. It's about no more than 10 to 15 minutes. And okay. you can start smelling it and heating up. You see, it starts okay. getting the color. It takes 10 to 15 minutes. Normally, the housewife in Tunisia use the uh, pestle and mortar, you know? Oh, and they... That's it, how they do it. Okay. Now, because we are in the modern world well, and the yeah. technology and all this, we use a robocoo. It's okay. easier. Okay, it's easier. It's easier. <laughs> it's easier. And you can hear it now bubbling and making this nice music. Sure, okay. And later it make music in your mouth if it's too okay. spicy. <laughs> a big party in the yeah. mouth. After a few minutes, you turn them around? Yeah, we do turn them around like that, gets a bit of color. Sure. Then, then later, we put them in a plastic container. It's like that's easier for the housewife or anybody at home to take the skin off. Okay. You see? You see now the skin starts getting off. Sure, sure, we sure. We don't use the skin. Maybe sometimes you just leave a little bit that it's not okay. harmful, doesn't harm. Yeah. It's okay. You don't need the, the tomato, actually, when you add the tomato, it's just to, can, to make it not too spicy. Okay. If right. you, the more tomato they add, the less the spicy it less gets. Spicy it gets. Right. Okay. Some people, another little trick, if it's too, too spicy, they put some aubergine. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So they make it less spicy. So for our viewers at home, it depends how spicy they like how it. How they so like it, got... yeah. How they like it, you see. But uh, the people I know, 
back home, they like it too spicy. It's very healthy. Normally, the, the, all the North African food and Middle Eastern food are very, very healthy. To give you history, during the crusade, the Christians, they stole all our food. Okay. Okay, and they brought it to Europe. Uh, start with the yogurt. It was created in the Middle East. They brought it here and sure. they're using it. Health and hygiene as well, the same thing. They brought the health and hygiene from the Middle East and they're using it in Europe. So, us, we are trying to forget it, but we have to get back to that. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So, that's what it is. And we eat healthy food because uh, before, the housewife, we didn't have tomato during the winter. So, we dry our tomato in the summer. We do our couscous in the summer. We do most of the things in the summer to keep them for the winter. Now we have chili, we have tomato, we have everything the whole year round. And then still the housewife now, she likes everything fresh back home. Of course. They don't wait for this. They, they like their meat fresh, they like their chicken fresh, their vegetable fresh, their fruit fresh, everything is fresh. And it is more easy accessible. Uh, yeah, so this is nearly done. Just like way. And the pots are so beautiful. These are most of the houses. Uh, Houses in Tunisia, they use these. Some of them people, they use the modern ones, but personally, I like to use these. That's the original of back home. Okay, so you just took them out, so you're gonna peel them now? Now we're gonna peel them. We take the skin off. You see how sure. easy it is. As I said, you can put, if you have a large quantity, you put them in a plastic container, you cover them, a lid on, and the skin will come off easily. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's how it's done. That's it, it's nice and clean. Ready for the slatter mishwayu. And uh, now this is the tomato to peel. Be careful, it's very hot. You see how the skin comes off yes. really nice and easy. Okay? You can see the flames coming out. You can out. see it. It's nice and hot. See? That one as well goes in this machine. Sure. Don't worry about the seeds. We eat the seeds. Oh, okay. It's, not, it's healthy. Okay. I've seen lately some people, they eat, eat, even eat the, the green uh, on the on tomato. The top. Yeah. Okay. They said it's nice flavor. And it's true, it does give a flavor. Okay. If you're making a soup or making so a sauce. So it is optional to leave it yes, in yeah. and take it yeah. out. So it's nice and clean like that. You see how nice, that's how it sure. is. Sure, sure. Okay, now we go for the garlic. We grill it as well to give it that nice smoky flavor as well. The garlic, you see and how it comes. And with garlic, every Middle Eastern, North African They use a lot of garlic. The garlic, garlic, very, very, very healthy. It's for the blood, it's sure. nice blood. Instead of buying a tablet of garlic, you buy fresh garlic right. and eat it. And eat it, It's yeah. healthy. Yeah. Here you are, you see how nice it comes out. That's how it is. And the smell is nice. Sure. So now what do we do? We've got the ingredients. This we are, now we put them in the machine, our Robocoop. We bring it over here. Okay. And we do it. Okay, we start putting this in the our Robocoop. Okay. Or if you got the hand blender as well, you can use sure. the hand blender. It's very easy. There is a choices. Or the mortar and pestle, like the old days. Okay. So anything can be used. Just put it into so a yeah, blender, yeah, all of these all are. together. Put it inside so we don't have to go there. This, the garlic, and that's it. And you put in our machine. Uh, you add this uh, uh, salt to your taste. Yeah. Okay. And this is special spice. This is uh, ground uh, coriander and ground caraway seed okay. and ground uh, garlic skin sure see so you can smell the flavor of it oh okay, yeah. okay and okay. you put a little bit of that and with not this, too much with the spice can you get it from local shops these spices i'm afraid you can they make them your own self you buy the own uh, dry coriander dry caraway seed and do them yourself this normally okay. the housewife in tunisia prepare them for the whole year round oh, okay okay, okay. And that's really what it gives the give it the kick. The kick for the without that it doesn't it's not a salad of mishwe as well. If you would like to sample this dish at home, simply use the following ingredients: two large tomatoes, five green or red chilies, two garlic bulbs, some coriander, and some caraway seeds. Add salt to taste. To decorate the dish, you could use a selection of olives along with slices of egg and lemon. And this is the dish I prepared earlier on. Uh, we, this is the things we can put to decorate the slatter So after mishwe. you put it in the blender, this is how it comes out? That's how it comes out. That's sure. the things how it comes out. So we put a little bit of decoration, the olives, green olives, black olives, hard boiled eggs, lemon wedge. Which are olives are big flavor in the big Middle East. Big flavor in the Middle East. And it's healthy as well again. Of course, of course. Okay, and olive oils. This is the most important things. You, you add up a lot of olive oils on it. And I see you've added a bit of tuna. Uh, tuna, yes, that's add-on. In Tunisia, we eat a lot of tuna fish. The starters, 
you have tuna, we have harissa, very, very, very spicy paste harissa, we call it as well. Sure. So that's what we eat. And you eat it really with a nice hot bread. Okay. This is homemade bread. This is made with uh, rosemary and thyme. Mm. And this one is made with olives. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And Adiv, um, can you buy them in shops? No, can this we can't buy them. So this is homemade. You have to okay. make them yourself. You can buy some, uh, the, the nearest bread you can buy, it's in a Turkish shop. Okay. That's it. Okay. But these are made in the this homes is, of Tunisia. Yeah. All right, and we is. make them here as well. Now, this Smell is that. my favorite part yeah. of the show, what I get to taste. Here it goes. So I'm gonna break it off, and then I'm gonna go for a dip. Here it goes. Oh, Ben, that's beautiful. And it's spicy. It is spicy, yeah. <laughs> it's very spicy. <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> Oh, I can feel it kicking. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole party. There's a little carnival going yeah. in my mouth. So it's good for the winter, but it makes you warm. <laughs> it, trust me, I'm very warm right now. I'm gone wet. <laughs> the sheer amount of vegetables in this salad is a plus point in itself, but the garlic is a particularly healthy addition. For centuries, garlic has been known to help combat coronary heart disease, as well as boosting the immune system. Its high vitamin C content is also worth taking note of. Just be sure not to go overboard, as it may be nutritious, but it's not the most sociable vegetable. It's delicious. It's a beautiful dish. And I can see why people eat it in the summer. Yeah. This is nice with nice grilled fresh sardines, grilled mackerel, or grilled sea bass. Beautiful. That's all from me and Kamal and Ben today. So until next time, be sure to keep it hot and spicy. But not too spicy. <laughs> Please see our website for details about the show and a list of all our ingredients at levant.tv forward slash hot and spicy. You can also check out our Levant TV Facebook where you can be sure to find a link to our hot and spicy page. Bye!